We thank you this morning, Heavenly Father, for the opportunity, Heavenly Father, to be able to come before you, Lord. Thanking you, Lord Jesus, for everything, Lord. Thank you for the rain you sent, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father, Jesus, for opening up, Heavenly Father, our minds, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, to be able to see your ways, Heavenly Father. Continue, Heavenly Father, you ever keep us, Heavenly Father, in your care, Lord. Lord, bless, Heavenly Father, each and every one, Heavenly Father, special man of the Lord. Yes, yes. Lord, remember those on their way, Heavenly Father, Jesus, give them a safe journey, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, in your mighty name, Father. Yes, Lord. Lord, bless, Heavenly Father, remember the sick and the afflicted, Lord Jesus, special man of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Touch their bodies, Heavenly Father, Jesus. And Lord, we ask, Heavenly Father, to give relief, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, in your mighty name, Lord. Yes. Lord, remember the Reedy family, the special man of Lord Jesus. Cut their hearts, Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord, help them, Heavenly Father, Jesus, to be able to get closer and closer to you, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. And Lord, we ask Heavenly Father to use them, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, that they may be able to be enlightened, Heavenly Father, according to your will, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. In your mighty name, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, bless you to grow in the special man of Lord Jesus. Yes, Oh, Lord, open up our minds, Heavenly Father, receive, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, what you have for us to receive today, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. In your mighty name, Father. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Heavenly Father, Jesus, for all thank things, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Keep us, Heavenly Father, in your care, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Use us for your glory, Father. Yes, Lord. And Lord, remember the, sick, the sin sick world, Heavenly Father. Yes, yes, Lord. So many things are happening, Heavenly Father. Yes, yes, Lord. But Lord, we thank you, Heavenly Father, Jesus, for Keeping us, Heavenly Father, with a mind stand upon you, Lord. Yes, yes. In your mighty name, Father. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord, continue, Heavenly Father, Jesus, to ever touch, Heavenly Father, and give you limits, Lord, right now, Lord. Yes, yes. These things we ask in your name, Jesus, we can say, Lord. Amen. 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 I will trust in the Lord.
street there. <laughs> so, okay, Bishop back on his post this morning. I see Sister Shannon waving through the water this morning. Thank the Lord that she made it here safe. Hallelujah. 
appreciate each and every person here. We know we could not do it without you. Amen. Without your love. Yes. With all the fruit of the spirit. Mm -hmm. The love, the joy, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control, and patience. Yes. We ask God that you let your Holy Spirit reign in this place on today. Hallelujah. So we can do the work that you have called us to do yes. in your house. Yes, Lord. I ask God that you let me decrease as you increase in me mm. to bring forth your word to your children. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. I'll be reading from the scriptures on today about the gift. And that is Romans. If you have your Bibles, please stand for the reading of the word if you can. Now you guys know the scripture, which is Romans chapter 6, verse 23. And it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift gift of God mm. is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. May the Lord and a blessing to the reader, hearer, and most definitely the doer of his word. Amen. Amen. I want to talk about, you may be seated, thank you. I want to talk about the high cost mm -hmm. of a free gift. Say that because it's Christmas time, you know that is called Christ Mass. But it's that time of season where a lot of some people, I would say, go out and spend a lot of money and buy gifts for children or people. And if you like me, I bought a gift for my grandson and played with it on Christmas Day and never touched it again. Amen. But the best things in life that you might have heard are free. Yes. And especially it's true when it's considered the best thing in life is a gift. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking of what God offers. Offers to all who accept the gift, which is eternal life. As we read, it's truly a gift from God in Romans 26, 23. But yet, you see, eternal life, we have to remember, is a gift. But it was a high cost that was paid. High cost that was paid for that gift. Yes. And a high cost must be paid to receive it. Yes, Lord. And I say that because a high cost of a free gift can somehow be hard to pay for because when you receive that gift and you go through certain things there's a time when you might have to give up some friends. Amen, amen. Give up some family members. Mm -hmm. But remember blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness yeah, sake. Because it's a gift from God that nobody else can give you. Yes. It's the free gift of salvation. Hallelujah. And see many might have a wrong concept about salvation. How it's obtained. Me working in the gang intervention field, I was talking to some Muslim. Mm -hmm. And he would say, well, if I obey the Quran and worship Allah faithfully, and even after death, I find out there's no more paradise, or there is no paradise, yes. meaning to be comforted, I should feel that I have really been miserably cheated. Hallelujah. And I say, well, the only way to the kingdom of heaven is through Jesus Christ. Mm, hallelujah. But you have to accept him. And I say that because many professional Christians mm. have similar concepts of tempting or trying to attain heaven. Yes. That their reward is received because they live a good life, because they're generous in giving, because they're faithful in attendance at church. Hallelujah. But salvation is a good gift under for underserving man. It's more to it. Yes. And I say that because even as we offer, as God has offered the salvation, mm. we were sinners, ungodly, enemies. You can read it in Romans 5 and 6. But it's not because we love God, it's because God loved us. 
And it's offered to all of us if we receive him. But then it's offered freely. And I say this because I'm going back to the gift. It doesn't cost mean that it costs you anything. It costs God everything. I love how the old saying used to say, love, uh, you know, love, don't pay my bill. Yeah. Love is just a thrill, love, don't pay my bill. God loved you so much that he gave his only son and your bill is paid. Because you had the opportunity to receive eternal life. But the high cost of providing the gift it was a cost from the Father. It cost him to sacrifice his only begotten son. He spared his son just for you. And I say that because when it comes to the Holy Spirit, it was patiently worn, stubborn hearts. Stubborn hearts. When you have the gospel and you, you have the Christians and you have the men and women of God who will still not accept the commandments of God. And I say that it's like I heard Bishop read the scripture this today, and that was one of my favorites when he was talking to the disciples. He said, well, God, didn't we cast out demons? Didn't we heal the sick? And he said, depart from me, you were of iniquity. <laughs> Can you imagine out of all the things that we think we're doing right? Yes. And we stand in front of God, and he said, you were of iniquity. But see, I want to talk to the Christian folks because I need us to get filled with the Holy Spirit where we can be nice to one another, yes. teach one another, love one another. And I say that because when we already know, and I say it every week, you've been hearing me, every week we already know where the world is coming from. Yes. Amen. We already know what the world is doing. We know what our job is to do with the people that's in the world. But we need to know as Christians what we should be doing. Yes. yes. And that's loving on one another. Hallelujah. And I say that because no man except Jesus as Savior can only save our souls. Yes. And without accepting the Lord Jesus in our lives, we can't do nothing without him. Because it comes a time when every time we get into some problems, every time we say, okay, well, Lord, I need you to help me with this. I need food on my table. I need clothes on my back. I need to buy my children a gift. Then you want to always call on Jesus. But do you thank Jesus when he had already blessed you abundantly? Sometimes we just forget. We forget. Yes. But I say that because we have to accept Jesus Christ and be saved and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. But see, many people assume, many people assume that just becoming a Christian by saying, okay, well, I go to church, I love God. Yes, yes. And I am a Christian. I was born going to church. But you have to remember, you got to be filled with that Holy Spirit because when you love God, you got to love people that don't love you back. You got to love people that say that they really like you and they really want to see what you're about, but you know good and well that there's something else going on. Yes, Lord. But when you're able to get on your knees and say, Lord, forgive them, for they don't know what they do. Yes, Lord. But I need your Holy Spirit to help me love them, knowing they don't love me. Yes. But it goes back to when we already know where the world is coming from. Mm. But I say that because we have to accept everything that God has, has told, told us to accept in his commandments. Yes, Lord. I'm saying that I have so much to say on salvation because we working out in the field and, and we working out with the interventionists and different doctrines and it's like, you know, we have some Jehovah's Witnesses. I know how to get them away from my door real quick. They come and say, okay, well, yes, so we use the Bible as the cornerstone. And, and yes, we believe Jesus Christ. But yes, you don't believe Jesus Christ is your Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, you believe in God. But my God died for me and was buried and risen on the third day. So I don't think you want to be at my door if you're not a Christian. Because yes, I believe whatever you do, I don't judge. But... Jesus Christ died for my sins. Hallelujah. And when you read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, I'll tell them in a minute, you're not supposed to be excommunicated. Yes, yes. But they excommunicate you when you do something wrong. Hallelujah. Some of us Christians do something wrong every day, but we can still love you. We can say, look, come on, let's pray together. I need your help just like you need my help. I'm not going to excommunicate you because I'm going to fall short one day and I'm going to need your help. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. But it's the high cost. Amen. I might be the only one. I don't think I am, but it cost me mm. some friends being born and raised in L.A. It cost me a whole lot of friends yes. giving my life over to Jesus Christ. It cost me family. Yes, Lord. It cost finances. Mm -hmm. Because when you're going through some things back in the world, doing worldly things, you think that's what it's all about, the cars and fancy stuff and everything else. But you got to give up some things to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior because he said, I will supply all of your needs. Yeah. 
Amen, somebody? I was in the, and I missed a little story. I was doing a therapy. Reun it's called reunification. My clients was one to come in high school. Their, their parents was in prison system. Little boy, he was about 15 years old. Great student, handsome man, played football, wasn't involved in games or anything. And he got into a fight. Now, when we were kids, we would talk about our grandfathers, pick up the, a brick, a stick, or something, and beat up the biggest one. Everybody else leave you alone. Amen. And that's what he did. Good kid. Never been suspended from school. But since he was in a program, they sent him to Shields for Families and put him on some Ritalin at, at Augustus Hawkins. And I went in there to pray with him, and they told me I couldn't pray for this little boy. We don't, we don't believe in that. You can't pray. We, this is a, a facility, a mental health facility. You cannot pray. This is not what you do here. I said, you know what? God worked on me and afflicted me so bad I had to quit. And I was making good money, but I had to quit. Amen. And when I quit that job, God had just blessed me abundantly and yeah. gave me everything that my heart desired. He said, okay, well, whatever you have, whatever you was giving up, that paycheck, you don't need it. Amen, amen. But I felt so much better. Yes, did I have to pay that high cost? But when you pay the high cost for God and yeah. give up some things, mm. He's going to supply everything that you need. Because when I go and get on my knees every day, every morning, every evening, throughout the days, I said, okay, well, Lord God, thank you for saving me. Yeah. Knowing that I was a wretched man, knowing I was the chief of sinners, but I listened to you yeah. and left everything alone and continued to focus on you. And everything that I have right now is the kingdom of God. I don't care if I'm going to eat tonight. I don't care if I don't have no suits. I don't care because I know where he brought me from. I know where he's taking me to. I know where the thing about it is when he says, seek ye first the righteousness of the kingdom. All things will be added unto you. And I tell people all the time, I'm going to borrow time anyway. Thank God. I didn't die 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. I would have been lost. But thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Stand focused on you, God, because I'm not, I'm not even going to spit on the sidewalk. Amen. And when I praise God and give him glory and say, Lord, thank you. I praise you. I give the glory out here in the street. I got a Prozac praise because I'm not ashamed to tell everybody about Jesus Christ. Because I sing that song. I'm just nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, man. Just trying to say the high cost. The high cost that you have to pay when the gift yes. of salvation has already been paid. Yes, Don't stress yourself out when it comes to going to this Christmas and, and Walmart, where, wherever y'all shop at. I don't know, Amazon now. <laughs> don't get stressed out. Don't let the children stress you out. Don't want to spend your money and then you want to do things that you know that you shouldn't be doing. If you want to buy a gift, a high cost of a free gift, go buy the Bible. Amen. Amen. Yeah, thank you for, for the rest of their lives. Yes, hallelujah. In my conclusion, it's why the gift of salvation that's offered mm -mm. is offered freely. Yes, Lord. But it still comes with a high cost. And because sometimes you want to hang out with those friends that you know that's not doing right. You, you, they can call you all week long and say, let's go here, let's go there. But when you call them on Saturday night and tell them to meet you at church, then they don't want to answer the phone. Amen, amen. But don't let your heart be troubled. Uh -huh. Because God has here who he wants here. Hmm. I say it all the time. God don't count numbers. He makes numbers count. Amen. Sometimes you can have a packed church filled with everybody and the Holy Spirit is not dwelling. You got people looking at this person, people looking at this person and mess up the whole Holy Spirit in the house. Hallelujah. So I thank God for the chosen few. Yes, Lord. Many are called, but few are chosen. Hallelujah. But you have to come and get what God has offered hmm. as that free gift. Yes. If there's anyone in here today who doesn't know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. just raise your hands right where you're at. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I always say, well, once for the Father, once for the Son, yes, Lord. and once for the Holy Ghost. Yes. See, my ministry was leading Bangers to the Bible, Harlot's Holiness. And they used to always give me an excuse. The church start too early, church start too late, church is too far. I don't like even put on the spot. But when 
it's your time where you stand in front of Jesus Christ, you're going to be put on the spot. You think you want to look at Facebook and Instagram? We seen that a long time ago when it was in your mother's room. But if you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, just raise your hand right where you're at and let's pray. Well, come on, let's give the Lord a hand praise. Everybody in here should give the Lord a hand praise because whatever you feel in the church and everybody say, and I say everybody say, amen, amen. then that means we know the work that we have to do. Yes. That means we have to be the evangelists that God has called us to be because I know nobody in here was born saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And I know nobody in here is perfect. Amen. I just thank God. And I say that because I was looking at some things where pastors are really persecuted now to these days, in these days and time. I went to a conference last week and we have a lot of compromising going on. Amen. And it's a terrible thing. I never put my mouth on a pastor. Y'all can see it all over the internet, but he's starting now to open up a cannabis in the, on his facility. And the first thing I can say to myself, well, we, at least we know he's not a deliverance church. Mm -mm. But if us as pastors don't stick together Amen. and stop bickering at each other and yeah. doing things that causes us to, we already got enough stuff on our mind. Hallelujah. And we already taken up other people's things, problems or issues, I would say. But I'm just asking each and every Christian man, each and every Christian woman, seriously, let's pray yes, for one yes, another. Lord, because we got to be a God's church. Am I right about it? Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand, please. As I turn it over to Mother Wilson. And also, for those who want to become members of Cedar Grove, those who want to do the work, we need some workers. We need some workers. But I thank God once again for each and every one of you. Please come back. Please let's celebrate this Christ Mass that we're getting ready to have. Once again, I can keep on going and going. I'm going to turn it over to you, Mother. It's just the high cost of a free gift. Praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> And it's something that can help us not only this week but the rest of our lives. And this is what we need to hear on Sunday morning. To know that God is in control. Yes, yes. But there's somebody that can steer us toward him just in case we got slow on him or forgot who we were. But he brought it back to you to let you remember who he is and what he's all about. And now I'm going to ask everybody to please stand and bring your donations and put it in the basket for me. And this is going to be for a fish. Thank you. 
birthday again, Sister Jenny. Happy birthday. Amen. 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 I heard we have another birthday coming up soon as well. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, just another announcement. We will be having our Christ Mass celebration on the 18th. And also I wanted to mention too, we got workers in the house that's ready for the Bible study night starting after the first of the year, which will be Wednesday. And choir rehearsal the same night. And Yvonne has her daughters coming to do Sunday school. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord again praise. You. Amen. We thank you. Appreciate you. Standing all over the building. In the name of Jesus, we thank you once again for the high cost of the free gift. We thank you, Lord, for giving us an opportunity to receive you. So yes, you know, yes. Eternal life. We know that we can do nothing without you. Hallelujah. I'm asking God that you touch each and every person in this place. And as we leave this place, but never in your presence, go before us. Keep us away from all hurt, harm, and danger. Continue, Lord, to bless us, our coming and going. We thank you for your house. We thank you for Cedar Grove. We thank you for the pastors. Thank you, Lord. Thank we thank you. you for the missionaries, the ministers, the children of God. And I ask God that you just continue to give them the desires of their heart. Yes. So we can do the work that you have called us to do. Hallelujah. Because we cannot do it without you. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Let everyone say amen. 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 Can you repeat after me? No prayer, no prayer, no power, no power. Little prayer, little prayer, little power. Much prayer, much prayer, much prayer, much prayer, much power, much power. Much power. Much power. Yes. Thank you, guys. Amen. See you at eleven thirty. Amen.